All right, hello class, or anyone else who um, needs to work with um, images and the laser cutter. All right, so I figured I'd uh, get a video to show you um, all the steps, all in one video of what to do. I've got some other videos you guys might want to check out, um, and they might be useful to you. Um, also, we're going to use a program called Pixlr because you guys have a little experience with that, and that is available on a Chromebook free to use. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, what's your theme? What's your auto, automata, automata, excuse me? What is it uh, What is it about? Is it about baseball? Is it about flowers? Is it about puppies? What's it about? Okay, so um, this one I just chose uh, baseball. You're going to be very specific in um, the way you search for your files. So if you want a baseball pitcher, make sure you put baseball pitcher or you're going to get a catcher, first baseman, or outfielder. Okay, the other thing I want you guys to put in the search is put line art. You could also look for some clip art as well. That will work. Okay, so really this um, this one that I found here, I clicked on and brought up a little preview, is more of a clip art. But I like this because I'm thinking profile, which is what you guys want to think about. It's going to cut out a piece of cardboard right around the edge of your image. So this guy is kind of stretched out, definitely know he's pitching. He's not all bunched up and it's just going to cut out kind of a blob. So try to pick a good image showing um, a good silhouette. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it, not left click, but right click, save image as. Okay, so this is a Windows machine, the right clicking and, and different computers are going to work differently. Okay, so anyway, you just want to uh, select it and we want to save that image. So yeah, I practiced a little bit. So I'm going to call this guy um, picture number four. Okay, so I've got all these different images. As long as I give it a unique name, it will create the file in my folder. Okay, so what I want to show you guys is, is that what I did was inside of my My Documents folder, okay, which comes default, a default My Documents with Windows. It's a folder that Windows has created. I created an auto, automata um, images folder, okay, and that's where I'm putting all of my images, right, because we need to actually get to the file a little bit later on okay we don't need the image in a Google Doc or anything like that we need that image file okay so that's where everything's being saved Now, what you guys should do later on is you should take all of these files you're working with that might be in your downloads folder if you're on a Chromebook and you need to get that into your Google Drive and the, the great thing about the Google Drive is wherever you're at you can open up your Google Drive and you can find your files so inside of your Google Drive I would love for you guys to create a technology folder and inside of your technology folder I would like you to have an automata folder and inside the automata folder would be great to have a automata images Okay, but at least have your automata images folder that you can um, you can get to okay so um, let's move on with uh, some more steps here okay so the laser needs basically a silhouette so think of it um, kind of like as a shadow that's what the laser kind of needs as far as an image a black and white um, image and your image um, needs to be black um, that's just so that we can create a nice edge for the laser to follow when we convert it into um, an SVG, which is a vector file. Um, it, it'll, um, everything will work better if we do that. So I'm going to show the steps how to basically, you're going to dump black paint in your image. Okay, so go to Pixlr, um, pixlr.com. We're using the editor and you guys created an, an account I think you used your Google okay so I'll just show you guys from scratch file open image okay then you're going to look in the, the location of where that file is right so you got to kind of search for it and see where it's at you'll get better and better at working with folders the more and more um, that you do it okay I'm a Windows guy so um, that's easy um, Chromebooks are a little bit harder for me okay so picture four that's the latest one so let's just go ahead and get that in there okay so now what we want to do on this is we we're gonna fill him with black paint but in order to do that and do that um, easily we are going to select that image there's different ways of selecting so it's got this cool little lasso tool okay and the lasso tool 
um, has different options up here. You've got just a regular one where you have to click and try to drag around and it's really hard to select with. You've got this polygon one. You've got a be bezier, 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 that's how you say it. And you've got a magnetic one, okay? My suggestions would be um, either this one, the polygon, or the magnetic, okay? If you're gonna use the magnetic, um, you still have to kind of be pretty careful and try to follow along as close as possible. Um, if you use the polygon, you can click and lift your finger off the mouse, click, 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 click. That's how I showed you guys how to do it with GIMP. Takes a little bit longer. Um, could be frustrating to spend all this time click, 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 selecting, and then boom, you have to start all over again. So let's go, let's try the magnetic, but we still need to be careful. So I'm just gonna select the guy. I'll start here with this cap, and I'm gonna click, and I'm just uh, clicked once, and I'm carefully dragging around. Okay, and what it kind of does is it wants to kind of connect to the edge. Boy. the image probably if you had like a drawing tablet with the stylus or something it'd be a lot easier to do this I'm trying to use the mouse and it can be a little a little bit tricky so you might want to play around with different ways of doing this I'm around I'm around you you have to connect it up over and click double click actually okay Whew, mission accomplished. Looks like it's pretty good. Not perfect, but looks like it's pretty good. We've got the, what I call the marching ants, the selection all the way around it. Now we're gonna dump it with some black paint. Make sure that the black paint is on the foreground. So this color right here is in the foreground. The red is actually in the background. So make sure that's selected. Get the paint tool. And we got our ads coming up again. Close the ads. It's free, so we gotta have to deal with the ads. And then we are going to dump the black paint. Now, if it doesn't dump black paint everywhere, see if you can dump more black paint in certain areas. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that calf there. Anyway, I can probably get rid of that little V right there. You can kind of click multiple times. Okay, that, that's going to be good enough. So now, you look at that now. Now we've created that, that silhouette. That's what we want. Okay. So now I am going to deselect because I'm happy with that and I don't want anything to happen. That's good. Now we can save our image. And when we save in Pixlr, okay, you can just go with the default JPEG quality. Eh, you know what? I don't know if we really need high, but um, you can just go with that since that's the default. If it's a higher um, resolution, it's going to be a bigger file, but um, I don't think that'll be too much of a big deal. It's going to be called Picture 4, so we shouldn't really name it that. We should name it this. Picture, I was going to say Picture for Laser, but no, let's see. Picture All Black. Okay, we'll just say Picture All Black, because it's all blacked out. That's what we want, and now we um, have named it so that um, um, it makes sense to us, right? Picture all black, download it, and remember, um, Pixlr does put things in your um, downloads folder, so you will have to move those out later on, okay? All right, so now what we want to do is we want to convert that graphic to a vector and I found a program you guys that so far seems like it's working pretty well it's not going to ask you for money and I better hurry up because I only have about four more minutes to do this before my um, video time runs out okay so here's what you do we're going to convert from raster to vector we need to convert to a vector which is an SVG file for the laser cutter let's do it upload the file okay and the one that I want is actually in my downloads because remember um, that's where it um, places it. So I'm gonna double click that. And up here, um, you, you wanna select SVG. It might default to a PDF or something, but we want SVG. 
I think that's going to be okay, even though it's not a perfect image. We're going to download it, and I bet you it's going to download it into our downloads folder, and sure enough, it did. It's called Tracing 4, okay? So obviously not the file name we want, but that's what it automatically names it. Okay, so if we go into our downloads folder, downloads folder, let's get that going. Um, downloads, downloads, go to our downloads folder, tracing four. Okay. Let's, let's do this. We want to get it out of downloads and we would like to put that in our Google Drive. A lot of times I'll just have students say, hey, um, you can throw it on your desktop temporarily, but let's, uh, you will need to upload that file from your Google, in, into your Google Drive. Okay, I'm probably gonna run out of time to do that. But this file right here, and I can rename it, I'll just rename it, but it will be in my downloads. We want to name this file, whatever the file is, so base all picture, or I could have just called it picture, for laser. That's very important, for laser, because um, this file, which is what we want as an SVG, it's ready to, to laser cut. So we can now open this thing up in laser engrave. Okay, and we should um, be able to print that. Okay, so I just know that that's in my downloads folder. Let me see if I can go ahead and quickly open up uh, Retina Engrave for you. I think I have it loaded. I hope I do. Okay, Retina Engrave. Let me fire that up. This is the software that the laser uses. See if I can drag that in the window so you guys can actually see it. Okay, so here it is. So um, what we will do is we will go to um, Vector Cut. Now notice down here it says no connection because I'm actually on my laptop, not connected to the laser. But you guys should make a connection. You should see green and you should see it connected to the laser. And we have to turn the laser on and all that kind of stuff. So what we'll do here is we will go File open file or project now remember it was in my downloads okay and if it's in your Google Drive you will probably have to download that onto the desktop computer connected to the laser and there's a way for you to download it and you can just choose desktop that's a good good place to put things temporarily uh, downloads downloads uh, Maybe that sometimes it might be a different download. Why is it not? Uh, oh, here, here's why. So right here, compatible files, here's what you're going to do. You're going to click the little down arrow and go to all files. Okay, so that's important. All files. Picture, baseball picture for laser. Double click. Uh, something happened. It didn't like that. I don't know. But what will happen on yours, unless um, that piece of software doesn't, doesn't work well. Um, it should pop up here in the window ready for you to cut. So if that, if we, if it doesn't work with that, um, that online software, we may be forced to actually um, watch my other video. Maybe you can fast forward to the, to the part where um, I show you how to um, use Inkscape which it, we go through a few steps to convert our raster into a vector image. But uh, I'm, I'm a little, I was thinking that was going to pop up for you and you guys were going to be um, good to go. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll play around with it, but go through those steps and um, let's see how it works. All right, well, I hope this was uh, helpful for you and Good luck, and if you have any uh, questions or anything, just call me over and uh, we'll get this thing going. Have a good one.